I have some great news, guys. She said yes. We're getting married. And uh, I have some pictures of the night I want you guys to see right there. Check them out. Weren't those pictures great, guys? That was by far the most amazing night of my life. And I have a special treat for you. Priya, my new fiance, is actually right here. We're going to ask her a few questions and uh, talk about the engagement. Come on in, baby. Hey, what's up? hey, what's up, guys? This is Priya's first time being on my YouTube channel. How's it feel, babe, to be on YouTube? Uh, fantastic, I guess. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, what we're going to talk about first, you guys are dying to know about it, is Friday night. That's the night that I proposed. And um, so my intentions for the evening, we, we, we talked about getting married and so it's not this big surprise that I was going to ask her to marry her. You know, she didn't know what day it was, but my main intentions were to completely surprise her, catch her off guard and blow her away. <laughs> um, I think for the most part, for the most part, uh, we went, went ahead and did that. There's something I did with the keys that she likes to talk about a whole lot. So whenever <laughs> we're getting in the car or going into the garage at her apartment, I'll mess around with the keys. What happens? And he basically said, which key is it again to the garage? When he's always used the same key. So I was a little surprised. So I said, what do you mean which key? It's the same key you always used. Yeah, I tried <laughs> to play it. I was like, I, 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 there's a bunch of keys on this keychain. <laughs> He was a little nervous. But I think I was so nervous that day. I mean, y'all saw the, the earlier video, and if you didn't check it out, but I was so nervous that day. I'm pretty emotional, too, so I was mm -hmm. getting just racked all day long by emotions. And uh, so that was a little bit, you know, a little gave away what was going on a little bit, but I think it, I was able to maintain maintain the surprise. Okay, so um, what about what about the night? How'd the night go down? What did you, what did you... Oh, I have to tell you. So he came and picked me up from my apartment. He'd actually told me to get ready and wear a really nice dress because he was going to take me over to dinner at a nice place. And uh, so I was all dolled up and was ready to go. And he said we were going to have two stops. And the first stop was to get some coffee and go to our favorite spot. Um, it's a it's a it's in uh, a town square. It's like a little park that we hang out at, and we have what we call our own bench as well. And so we were there hanging out and having some coffee. And I was thinking that obviously if something were to happen, it'll probably happen at the dinner. And so I, I was <laughs> definitely caught off guard. I was in the mid sentence talking to. Uh, to him telling about something about it being, uh, do you know today is November 11th, which is 11-11, which is a special date. And he I said, was like, okay, get this. Whenever she says that, I see my family walking up, right? And they're part of the surprise. And so I was like, yeah, I, I, today is 11-11. <laughs> I know that. And I was like trying to think, what do I do to distract her? And he leans over and kisses me mid-sentence. I wasn't even done telling him the whole story and I was like okay this is awkward what just happened and then next thing you know I turned around and his whole family is walking up each of them had a, a stem of rose in their hand and uh, his mom leaned over and came over to me and leaned over and gave me a kiss and I got up and she gave me the first rose and told me uh, that she was excited about inviting me to be part of her family as uh, a daughter. And then um, she said, will you accept this rose? We had most of his brothers uh, except for one and then his sister. All of them came over and each of them gave us a, a so, some sort of a small speech in their own way inviting me into their family and asked me to accept the rose that they gave me and I did. And then Daniel came over and he had several roses in his hand and uh, as you may have seen in the picture they were all red roses and he gave them to me. Oh really quick about the roses, mm -hmm. this is so funny guys. I, I was expecting things to happen that maybe were going to get in the way of the proposal. When I'm at the store getting ready to pick out the roses this lady comes up to me and she goes, you know, orange looks a lot better. And I was like, lady, lady, it has to be red. Like, this is not just some normal night. Like, I need red roses tonight. And she looked so upset. And I was like, okay, but the orange looked nice too. Maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> roses were very special and began to give me a speech and told me, uh, 
originally when we went on our first date he bought me 12 roses and uh, so that was representing of a new beginning in our life then and then now as we are coming to the end of our dating life and beginning of our engaged life it represents a new season again so he said he brought me another 12 red roses all of them together he gave me all the roses and he told me that this is a new beginning and so I wanted to bring you another 12 red roses like I said and of course he got on his knees and uh, asked how'd me you, how'd you feel whenever I got on got on my knees there well when he was giving me the speech I was like paying undivided attention but like uh, this yeah I, I literally was giving him the most intense <laughs> look crazy. possible until he uh, toward the end of his speech I guess and then uh, because you know it's it's a rush of emotions that you've never even felt the feelings that you feel in that moment is surreal and so i had happy tears in my eyes and i was anticipating uh you know him getting on his uh knees and asking him she was me, asking want me to, to finish my him. speech and give her that ring that's what she was anticipating <laughs> well i wanted to see the Quit ring talking and start showing <laughs> and, and anyways and so he got on his knees and asked uh, me to marry him and i said yes and got this extraordinarily beautiful ring as you can see it's very pretty and it's uh, a round cut with a halo around it but it has diamonds on the band and it has a center diamond and then diamonds around it and that's what a halo diamond is but round cut is the most popular and the most brilliant cut and it's I wanted something classy and he gave me something classy and it's a perfect size for me I love it and with the ring I asked I asked her the style that she likes and even looked at a few rings with her and I definitely recommend doing that if you're gonna buy your girl a ring soon you want to find out mm -hmm. you know what she likes what she wants because days like your engagement days like your wedding those are days that people remember forever and on these days you don't want to skimp and you don't want to neglect research so I talked to her a lot about her ring and uh, one thing you also want to do is you want to save up because that thing costs a lot of money. The only thing, like I said earlier, that I bought that uh, cost more than that ring was a car. Um, but I'm so happy that she enjoys the ring. It's an amazing experience to give somebody something so expensive and so valuable. And because you're showing your value and your investment into your relationship and into your girl, really. <laughs> So what I said to her, I, I had planned this out and I was like all, before this in the afternoon just walking around my living room reciting it over and over and over again. But um, the 12 roses was a big part. So I said, you see there Priya, in your hands you have 12 roses. And whenever we went on our first date, I gave you 12 roses to signify a beginning. And these 12 roses signify an end to this season and the beginning of a new season. And then I looked at her and I said, you know, there's... We've been through a lot of ups and downs, and there's three things that I know. One, God brought us together. Yes. Two, you love me. And I three, love I love you. And then so <laughs> this is where I started like ah, getting all emotional. And I said, so I want to spend the rest of my life with you. So will you please marry me? And that, oh my gosh. And of course. And I had the box backwards. I had to turn around <laughs> and open it. <laughs> Of course, I said yes. Now, because this day lasts forever and Priya is never going to forget it, and likely me too, we hired a professional photographer to take photos. And we definitely recommend doing that because those pictures turned out amazing. We put them on Facebook. Priya has 600 likes on her picture. I'm at about 300, but I posted mine a few days later. We'll see if I can catch up. Probably not. I mean, look how cool she looks. And then there's me. Um, but yeah, that was a really, <laughs> that was a really wise choice. And afterwards, because Priya is so family oriented and we both like the party, we had an after party with the family. And uh, what did yeah. you think about that? I loved what? it. I loved every minute. And guess what? He got us all barbecue and it was absolutely yummy. And then we had a cake that said, I do. With Buttercream and chocolate. Buttercream and chocolate. Really good so combo. Best combo. 
um, and then we uh, celebrated with our family and everyone gave us a toast and then Daniel again gave a cute little speech that Unplanned, just, just melted rose my heart. <laughs> he said, you know, thank you everyone for coming and all of us brothers and sister and just our immediate family was his immediate family which is now my immediate family was there he gave a speech saying you know thank you guys for all of you for being here um, family means a lot to Priya in fact ever since I met Priya um, I've understood the importance of family and she's helped me um, become closer with with the family and as a result uh, we wanted you to be part of our celebration and I just thought that was so sweet and everybody cheered for us and it was a very special night and we party hard. We were able to throw an amazing after party, we were able to have an, an amazing engagement. Every single person in my family showed up mm -hmm. and I was blown away by that and it felt so special. Mm -hmm. And I felt very very special because one, I got to say yes to marrying him. To, um, I was able to hang out with our, his entire family and everybody loved on me and welcomed me into their family and I couldn't ask for anything more it was a perfect night every detail was beautifully orchestrated uh, kudos to Daniel for that he did a great job and of course he got me the most amazing ring Yay. ever Dang, and uh, he uh, honored me by bringing his family together and that was one of my number one values and so all of all in all it was an extraordinary night I had so much fun I had I felt a lot of raw emotions I've never felt in my life and uh, we got to celebrate with our family and all we we have wonderful memories for the rest of our life and we have so many exciting things coming up ahead of us. Yes guys, we have some great plans here for the near future. Mm -hmm. uh, within the next few months, we're going to be going to India for an Indian engagement. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited about that. Never been over the seas and here we go, my first trip. We're probably going to try to video record that, maybe do a, a vlog and mm -hmm. so you guys can kind of see the experience and go there with us. And then uh, a few months after that, we're going to get... Married. <laughs> We're gonna get married! Yes! It's crazy, awesome, so excited. That's right. Well, you don't want to miss our India trip adventure because we're actually having an Indian engagement and let me tell you, it's gonna be so fun with a lot of people. And uh, of course, um, hopefully you'll get a, sh a snapshot of our wedding day as well. And we're looking forward to our future together. Yeah, that might make it on YouTube. Depends how much you guys <laughs> like this kind of video. Well, anything else you'd like to tell them, babe, or do you think we said it all? No, I think, uh, thank you so much for watching our video, and we look forward to creating more videos where you can come and be part of our life, and maybe learn a thing or two from us. Yes, yes. I thank love you, baby. You. I love you, too.